Black Tuesday is our cool sponsor. No creation industries. They're in white and Nile Saint Catherine. And they're joining us with the product Alcavita Alkaline Drinking Water. Improve your water, improve your health. And their telephone number is 876-649-0386. Okay, and the camera, take note. Alcavita Alkaline <laughs> Drinking Water. <laughs> All right, so you've been listening to Soul Rebel, and now we're going to have a little chit-chat with her. Good morning, and welcome to Live Tuesday from Cool 97 Hawaii. I'm going to get a little closer to the microphone. This is good? Right. Okay, so how are you? Good morning. I am well, thank you, Diane. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, okay. Rebel. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rebel with a soul, yeah? Rebel with loads of soul, yeah? yeah. All right, uh, so we heard you... Sending lots of shout outs uh, to Spanish Town. Linstead. Linstead. Yeah. Spanish Town. And uh, St. Catherine. And uh, we want to find out exactly what was your. Okay, let's look at. All right, let's look at your formative years. Uh, what were they like? So I attended Yorton Primary, mm -hmm. and that's um, in the environs of Linstead, just like you, know, you would mm -hmm. express Spanish Town. But Linstead is the main um, city. And um, your turn is like going to Ochoa's direction. Um, so o um, your turn primary is where I started, and I think my formative years was filled with loads of JCDC practices in school. Oh, okay. Heavy. So I'm a big JCDC baby. Hmm. Yeah. Well, um, how many years you did that? All my life in school at oh. your turn and also Holy Childhood High. Crikey. Yeah, a lot of us. I like that in the world, though, in Jamaica. They find use for us at school, and especially if you can finish your work fast, and especially if you're smart enough to know that you're going on Oton. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. That's you get everything to get, get mm -hmm. off, mm -hmm. and also the competition really helps you to refine your skills. So the stage setting, um, just understanding how to project, and also, you know, smiling on the stage all the time, um, that was like the holy childhood thing. Even if your tour hurt you, <laughs> if you hit that stage smile and the music starts, you better smile. <laughs> so um, my formative years were um, through your son primary and Holy Childhood High School and the JCDC. Big up JCDC wow. every time. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. yes, indeed. They have sown some really good seeds eh, in our entertainment industry. I must say big up to them as well. So having gone JCDC as a... Uh, High schooler, primary school attendee. <laughs> what is it? Have you entered now as an adult out of school? Have you entered JCDC on your own? Um, I think no. I not. I didn't really have the. Well, what I thought about um all of the. What I thought about all of the different experiences when I would see like um what's the name of that one um rising stars and just some of those shows and I felt like the follow-through on the artists was just never impactful for me mm -hmm. to you know participate in those things um and also my journey in reggae is actually more soulful than a competition mm -hmm. so I've built to this point um some reggae experiences around some of my mentors Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what I'm bringing to the table. Like what? Expand on that. I will. So where I'm from in Linstead, St. Catherine, um, you have a lot of original foundation reggae artists. I don't know if you've ever heard of Freddie McKay mm -hmm. and the Soul Defenders Band. Mm -hmm. So I was mentored by one of those elders. Um, actually, I knew quite a few of them, but as a baby, you know. Um, as I got older, um, Privy, <laughs> Ronald Privy Clark, um, started teaching me a lot of things and um, he was also one of the mentors for my father John Screw Samuels mm -hmm. and they played with the Soul Defenders uh, on and off. Ronald Privy Clark really played a lot. Okay. Um, my dad didn't so much um, just a little bit here and there with the Soul Defenders so that type of experience really prepared me to honor reggae in a different type of way so as I expanded myself and my talent I wasn't thinking about winning a competition. I was thinking about spreading reggae music mm -hmm. and the spirit of reggae music throughout the world. So now that you're on that journey, give us a hint in the productions you've done to date. Give us an idea as well about the EPs that you might have to your credit, or if it's one EP, <laughs> or 
what does that be entail? Is it out already? Is it to be released? So, okay, so in terms of um, the experience, um, you're saying what what material has come out and where where have I um, recorded. So most of my, my recording started out with Tabath Productions. Mm -hmm. This is out of Linstead. And um, the, the person in charge of Tabath Productions is actually my father, John Samuels. So I was around a lot of the older men as like a five-year-old, literally, singing Dennis Brown, mm -hmm. singing, you know, all of these different um, songs that were basically like men songs, old man song, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and that's how I was raised. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> but me grew up on the old man music. So um, John School really instilled that in me. So Tabak Productions is the first place I recorded and I did most of my work there. Um, I... We did an EP, um, which I want to say it's complete, but it's not all of all of the songs have not been released mm -hmm. because as we started the journey, actually yesterday, Juneteenth, we want to big up, you know, all of the freedom fighters and the activists. Juneteenth marked one year that since I released the song Drama oh. and Drama is actually the name of the EP, mm -hmm. but the year has taken a turn like 2022 mm -hmm. to 2023 just did some unbelievable things so um during the summer last year um so i did most of my recording with tabat productions right tabat productions out of lynn state st catherine big up my father right now john screw um last year um my my pr thought that i needed to be where the music was in the hub um and to get that experience and so we were off to england and the uk for last summer mm -hmm. and that really changed my view because you know you're in Jamaica and you're trying so hard and you're pushing and you wish somebody would see you you wish somebody would recognize your band the hard work of your father mm -hmm. you know and really it wasn't coming through but once I got to the UK I started just to just expand and I did some recordings with Stingray Records mm -hmm. out of the UK and man, I tell you, I think that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm here today. So drama took us to England or to the UK because we were all over the UK. And then um, basically Stingray sent us back to Jamaica with King Majesty. And um, he sent us with some other recordings too. So my major recordings um, have been with Tabat Productions and Stingray Records. I am, you know... In a lot of senses, untouched mm -hmm. as an artist, I've really been sheltered. But I think for me, it's a good thing because I really understand what I want to represent in the reggae. You touched on King Majesty. That song apparently <laughs> features heavily where your name is concerned because we saw it in the bio. We, we hear you speak of it. Give us insight into what's so special about that song. Oh my goodness. What the, how could you ask that, Diane? I have to. <laughs> you know, I would have phrased that question a little bit different in a mic. No disrespect, you know. But as I say, King Majesty is actually my take on Queen Majesty. Mm -hmm. And Queen Majesty is really one of those reggae um endeavors. Mm -hmm. It's big. It has a yeah, life no, of its own, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Um and we went as far back to make sure that we connected with Curtis Mayfield. We connected with the impressions. Mm -hmm. We connected with the techniques. We connected with the uniques. We connected with Heavy D. We connected with Dennis Brown. We connected with so many persons that have done this song. This is like over fifty years mm -hmm. of um an enigma in reggae music. So when I saw that I could actually do it and spin it my way and make it fresh and sing to the mandem. Mm -hmm. Cause who's been singing to the mandem? I don't know. So Medea, Medea, Solar Bliss here. Um, I think also that in the space, we do need this type of, um, this type of rhetoric mm -hmm. where the man and the woman are appreciating each other because we're seeing so many different things. Mm -hmm. So many different narratives are being written right now when it comes to relationships. So I just feel good to be able to express love to the man in a reggae style mm -hmm. with King Majesty. Uh, right. Just quickly, but let me just say congrats to your father and all those who are associated with it. It, it grounded you. Uh, you can hear, well, you, you can hear the, the history coming through you, but also the appreciation of the music because we're so dependent. Your father is a studio one man, right? Yes. Okay, so we know where you're coming from and we have a good grounding here. Thank Remember, you. a thing of quality has no fear of time. Please. Thank you very much for oh, that. Right. I love that. A thing of quality has no fear of time. I love quotes. <laughs>
your social media handles for those who may wish to follow you. V underscore soul underscore rebel. That's T H E E underscore S O U L underscore R E B E L rebel. Okay. <laughs> All right, so thank you for joining us on Cool 97 FM. I gather you have more to your performance <laughs> out on the yes, I do have stage some more. that we've created. Cool 97, tell me, say, I have some more. Yes. Yeah. All right, so enjoy. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Diana. Or Diane, I should say. It's been a true pleasure hanging out. Um, This is like a mad kickoff to this promotion right here. We love that. Yes, man. We love it. Thank you very much. Most welcome. Yes, I. The nation's coolest.